morning, everyone. It's great to be here today with all of you and our special guests. And let me introduce two of them. First to my immediate left is Gil Quinones, the President and Chief Executive Officer of the New York Power Authority. And to his left, the President of Metro North Railroad, Joseph Giletti. We're here today in honor of Earth Day to celebrate the work we've done to make Grand Central one of the most energy efficient transit hubs in the nation. It's already one of the most beautiful and iconic. It's one of the busiest with 750,000 people passing through here each and every day. And now we've nearly completed the largest energy efficiency project in the MTA's history right here to reap benefits for the terminal and for the system for decades to come. MTA Metro North and the New York Power Authority have worked together to upgrade Grand Central's entire energy infrastructure. Pumps, cooling towers for its air climate control, fans, and miles of high pressure steam pipes. We've retrofitted light fixtures, chillers, compressors, air handlers, and smart meters. We're saving energy and reducing carbon emissions on both electric and steam use with new efficient and low maintenance equipment throughout the entire terminal. All this work will reduce Grand Central's energy consumption by some 30%, saving us more than $2.5 million a year. And best, uh, best of all, we did it up with no upfront cost to Metro North. This capital expense will be repaid to the New York Power Authority over 11 years with the money that we've saved by reduced energy consumption. But I want to be clear about one thing before I wrap up. All the environmental improvements we're making at Grand Central and across the entire MTA, they pale in comparison to the energy savings we bring to this region every single day. We move more than 8.7 million people by transit every day, which translates to almost 700,000 cars that are eliminated from moving throughout the region. This allows our region to avoid 17 million metric tons of greenhouse gas emissions on an annual basis. That's more than three times the entire greenhouse gas emissions of the city of San Francisco. I also want to remind you that we're able to do work like this in the first place. Why? Because of the MTA capital program, a series of five-year investments where we renew, enhance, and expand the network. And today, if you're reading the papers and writing the system, you will know we're having record ridership. People are using the system and coming back to the system in droves. And we're carrying on a regular basis 5.6 million people a day, but on some days over 6 million. The capital program started in 1982, and more than 30 years and $115 billion later, we've given our customers a reliable system that they can depend upon. Our next capital program covers capital projects between 2015 and 2019 and will create hundreds of thousands of jobs. It will create and support economic growth and improve service and reduce the overcrowding that I just spoke about. It will allow us to continue to further green our network, which is an important priority for us. But there's a funding gap and we need your help to bridge that gap. And we've gathered an influential group of people here today and I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't tell you what we're doing and why we need your support. So while we can celebrate great projects like this today that continue to fuel our regional economy, we also need to keep in mind our capital program. It's now my great pleasure to introduce the NIPA Chief Executive Officer, Gil Quinones. Thank you very much, Tom. I'm delighted and thrilled to be here today with all of you. Uh, in this just not only beautiful and iconic Grand Central Terminal, but also the most energy efficient terminal definitely in the United States, maybe in the world. Um, last week, we had a tour of this terminal to see the great project that was done here, and also just to tour this magnificent facility with all its mysteries and secrets and history over the past decades. What's not a mystery is the leadership that Tom Pendergrass and Joe Giuletti have shown in inspiring a shared vision in this Earth Week that we can build, we can operate, 
we can maintain a facility like this that moves, as Tom said, 750,000 people every day. And it's just, again, amazing the amount of work that was done here in the mechanical, electrical system, things that we don't see. The air conditioning system, the heating system, the lighting system, things that are not visible to our day-to-day -day experience when we use this facility, but are essential to the working of this great transportation hub. So I want to thank the MTA for leading by example. Joe Giuletti, Peter Bass, and, and your team, Tom, did a great job. I want to thank the team at NIPA uh, who work hand in hand with the MTA and their folks in making this thing happen. Now, why are we doing this? Well, Governor Cuomo signed an executive order in 2012 and started what's called Build Smart New York. Build Smart is a program to help reduce the energy intensity of government buildings across the state 20% by 2020. Yes, it's an ambitious goal, but it's a very important goal to save money, lower utility bills and save taxpayer money, but also to improve the operations reduce greenhouse gas emissions, and mitigate climate change. And Governor Cuomo has been steadfast in that leadership, MTA being one of the state agencies leading the pack, showing how it's done. And today, as we celebrate Earth Week, again, I really just want to thank the MTA, Tom, Joe, your team, for showing the way and for leading by example. Thank you very much.